I'd like to invite you for the evening. Okay. Baba will talk to you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. for his presence here. And to all our special and distinguished guests. I'll also request all of you, all of you to kindly take your seats and call the class. bring out what we are calling the Kathmandu Declaration on agencies who are here. It's just a general view of the people who are here and we spent a lot of time thinking about what should be in it to the most vulnerable communities and here we would like to cite the example of Nepal who has not just done 50 percent but has allocated 80 percent of the fund by uh, sharing with us what you are doing and how much you are spending for the most vulnerable. And so finally what we then did in to them we had a representative from the city government of uh, Surat in Gujarat in India who was the details. The theme for next year. So this uh, particular eighth conference 
uh, is focused on financing for CBA. So let me address some of those issues. Dollar for input, dollar for effect, dollar for welfare. There is no better ratio of cost effectiveness than community-based adaptation. And how to do that, you are the experts. So it seems to me that one of the very important things that is being done here is this bottom-up education that comes from your experience, from your field expertise, you who are on the front lines of CBA to really be able to inform the levels above you as to the cost effectiveness um, and the importance and the urgency of community-based adaptation. And there, as we have all done already, but I would like once again to acknowledge Nepal's leadership, both in its creation of the concept and application of LAVAS, as well as on its determinations for the 80% uh, to go to community-based adaptation. That at the national level. But it seems to me the Kathmandu Declaration is also serving as a body established by the IPCC. That is a transformation, ladies and gentlemen, that humanity has never undertaken. That is a transformation that not only has to be undertaken, but it has to be undertaken within the time period. Because of this, we have to learn from our failures. And the reason why we have to learn from our failures is because we cannot fail the next one. And the reason why we have to learn from our failures is because we cannot fail the next one. Because the reason, no matter how many pages it has, no matter how many chapters, no matter how many conjugate verb or From the perspective, from the global perspective, um, I would just like to share with you that uh, the government of Nepal joins all the development of the text and they also ground the text so that the agreement is not something that should be esoteric and not having an imperi and uh, Salim and Atik workers. They were hosted. The main points of this relates to the focus of the theme of this conference, which is financing local adaptation. So the focus is on, the focusing is both global as well as national. National governments, we appeal to, to allocate the most vulnerable. And that those who are making these decisions of allocations need to report back on what they're uh, I'm, My name is Sophie Nepal Brown, the world and for food security. Many companies are investing a lot of money already to develop seeds that are drought resistant because they know that there will be a lot of areas around the world that will not have the kind of precipitation that they were used to with their crops. And of course those companies are interested in selling seed so they need to produce seed that is going to be drought resistant. Um, there's also a huge movement among the enlightened architects and engineers of the world who are already looking for like green climate fund or other person as uh, agencies and the uh, other developing countries expected. I uh, just um, suddenly uh, mentioned that. Um, and there are currently uh, a, um, uh, a waiting list, including a project in Nepal that is actually waiting to be to be funded, and they're doing some fundraising for that. This Great. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. 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 very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's very evident that uh, Nepal is an extremely vulnerable country. Um, First, perhaps, and foremost, for everything that has to do with water resources. So both the fact that uh, glaciers are melting every day at an accelerated pace. The IPCC report as well, which was really interesting. The IPCC report is very clear. So the first thing that they need to do is they need to um, invest much more into renewable energies, into energy efficiency, um, into the new technologies that are going to allow them 
Um, all the governments are, are in a financial, well not all of them, but certainly the industrialized countries are in a financial crisis. Um, and various sections. I think the, the chapters of the agreement are already very clear, right? There's got to be a chapter on adaptation, there's got to be a chapter on mitigation, finance, um, technology, capacity building, Trans equity, transfer, uh, transfer of technology. Um, so I think their intent is to pull together from everyone their views on these particular elements of the text and then reflect that back to parties. And they want to um, be able to, to have you all consider uh, a strong draft in Lima. But in order, in order to do that and in, or in order to then take that document farther, you know, the next ADP co-chairs are going to have a huge job in, in front of them because the draft text that comes out of Lima, which will still be full of brackets and options and things like that, needs to be finalized by May. Because in May, it needs, that's the six-month period, you know, that is demanded by the, um, by the legal requirements. And in May, that document needs to be finished translated into the six languages of the UN and sent out to all the governments so that they can be then um, considered by cabinets. So the next set of ADP co-chairs will have a very, very short time period, the first six months, to finalize that document. Um, they will then have much other, many other issues to work on, all of the decisions surrounding the agreement, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Meanwhile, we acquired this bigger plot of land, uh, which took some time. Very and good. We are very happy to, ha to have you here. Well, to thank welcome you. Here. Thank you. It's quite and exciting. To, uh, to give you an, uh, a peek on the, okay. the, the reception and processing of the waste. Okay. And, um, uh, and the, 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 further, the more further we become this side, is the, 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 the more. Rest. Throughout the screen, so we make we're going to make different granulates, oh, the okay. fine one and the more coarse one. Okay. Yeah. Do pH and what else? No, the lab is still under construction, but we hope to do uh, uh, at least the temperature control, moisture control, and pH. Yeah. Right. And this one came in two components. Yes. Arrived here in the in the hillshop at Chobar, and then we said, okay. Now what? Now what? <laughs> <laughs> more than what we are doing now. So this is the start of the year, and we hope to be doubling, tripling our production uh, in the next year. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. 
uh, the master of the land. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you Starry, <laughs> 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 Okay. You use like sugar, flour, uh, salt to compact it and build it together. Mm -hmm. To conserve it. Wow, interesting. Uh, to make it. And when was this? Does he remember when this one was made? Yeah, before you put it on. Ah, when I was born, I didn't know. Less, it's less um, small. Right, right. And what about the use of wood? Is it less wood? Is it less wood? <laughs> 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 Look at Sabit Hama one is a Tulubanago. Her Wango Tulusani examined my chin, Facebook, my very photo down the barrel. I mean, this part of any model get this in to advertise just the world. And then he paid for the cost of him to come here, and then he's also in the neighborhood made other cook stores, so they feel it's much better. And also, the fuel wood that they're using has just less. And he saw this on Facebook. But on Facebook, what did they do? Ah, one time, I got two of the Facebook. Memoir, that, that doesn't work <laughs> because a thousand is if you can do two a day that's 500 and you don't have 500 days in in nine months <laughs> <laughs> he's one of the few doing it all the time okay tell him in my um one of the few tell him in my um part of the where world i come from we also have this, mm -hmm. and it's the women who are building the stoves. Okay. And they build it for each other. So okay. one woman will take care of building the stoves in, the, all the, in her own village, right? Because okay. she does. I'm here to tell you, 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 I'm here to Mm. Mm. Uh, okay, so every time they will wash it off. So it's it's a place. Place. Uh, Traditionally, they've done that even. Where do they get the firewood? I uh, don't you got to Daura Kamber Leon. So, we have to buy the Okay, okay. 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 He, he has his own garden where he gets. He, Plants it and then he'll people you know, each person has their own usually. Uh, Especially if you know the elder of the household would have their designated yeah. nobody else. Nobody else. Yeah. And this can happen with uh, about our program. This is great. Mm -hmm. For cooking, but just for keeping things warm. We have Ah, uh, that's in here. Uh, water boiling. We have so, not included the picture, but we can uh, sell you. Okay. We have water boiling chamber in uh, upper mountains. Okay. Metallic, okay. totally uh, metallic. Yeah. Yes, because many women, I mean, it's the women who are saying, oh, uh, you know, this is nice, but I would like to have. Mm. Hot water. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly women. Yeah. They will innovate very quickly. <laughs>
focus on mitigation and adaptation through knowledge sharing, technology transfer, means eco-friendly eco technology. We are on a planet which have a problem of guided rules and the Thank you. about climate change effects because the fact is that in our own lives and that is the scary part. It has to cross that river but now there's no any water on the river so we can easily walk. So that is what I face. Which is also experienced uh, the defects in uh, food producing systems and uh, we, have, we all have experienced that uh, each and every year uh, the climate, uh, the weather, uh, um, the uh, weather is uh, getting warmer and warmer, and uh, that's what I've experienced. The very, very difficult thing about addressing climate is that although it is a global problem, the patterns, the changes in river flows are very, very local. They are very local, and they are felt by those of us who live there at the individual level. The fact is, although it's difficult to understand, the fact is that it is precisely the individual efforts of every single one of you and all of the other people around the world, the rest of the seven billion, who are going to solve this. That does not excuse the governments from their responsibility. Governments must take the decisions that they have to. And the other responsibility is to use your leadership and your understanding to push down into your communities to make more people aware. It's when you become the decision makers and you then begin to establish policy in your communities, in your districts. Understand that if we continue to use fossil fuels the way we have been using them in the past, our global emissions will continue to rise and we will like hit a point at which not only will we have the water scarcity that you're talking about, but we may have much more disastrous weather. I would be very happy of one of the first projects that the Green Climate Fund actually funds in Nepal would be a woman-led project. Can we actually work to it? And 
the kiss or do, do most of the festival still survive? Yeah, most of the festival over here.